This video shows how to add more storage to a VirtualBox VM. So here I have created Ubuntu 18.04 VM. So if you go to the storage, you can see it already has uh, 10 GB disk. It's a VDI file. You can see virtual size is 10 GB. Actual size is 2.7 GB. So if you go to the VM, let me go login. If you run sudo fdisk hyphen l, you can see it has slash dev sda1 and slash dev sda2. So let me run df hyphen h. So you can see the devices here. And it has only sda2 slash dev sda2, it's 9 GB. Okay, so I'm going to add more storage to this uh, VM. So we can do it while VM is running. Just go to the storage, then click on this controller setup, then click on this add button, add new storage, then select add hard disk. So then you will get two options: choose existing disk if you already has. Uh, if you already have uh, this um, VDI or VMDK file, you can use this option. If you want to create a new disk, you can select new, create new disk. So I am going to select this option. Then I am going to select VDI. Then click on continue. Then dynamically allocated. Click on continue. So if you here you can give the name for your disk. I am going to give new virtual disk 3. Then here you can adjust the size. I am going to give a 2 GB. Then click on create. Okay, it's created. This is a new disk. If you click on that new disk, you have to check this flag or this uh, property. It's attached to. Here you can see it's showing MD. So if you select the first disk, this is the actual disk of the VM. Here you can see it's attached to this VM. This is a VM name. Okay. But this newly added disk is not attached to the any disk. So at this point, before clicking this OK button, let me go to the VM and run this FDs hyphen L. There is nothing added and DF hyphen H also not showing anything. Let me click on OK here. Now go to the settings again and click on storage and click on the new disk here now you can see that it attached to us changed to and now you can see the name of the vm here now go to the vm again and then if this hyphen l now you can see the newly added device here slash dow sdb okay it's 2 gb next i am going to show how we can use vl we added new storage but we have to use it right so i will show you how we can use it so what you have to do is we can use this fdisk command sudo fdisk then uh, specify the new device slash dev slash sdb so i am going to create a partition okay enter then you will get a prompt like this here just type uh, n then it will ask for partition type primary or extended so i'm going to select extended type e and press enter then you have to specify the partition number so i'm going to create a single partition so select one and the first sector i'm going to select the default one last section and i'm going to select the default one so it will create only one partition okay with a 2 GB size. So partition has created. Now I need to format it. For that we have to type T then press enter. Then it will ask for X code. Type 83 for Linux. Okay. Then enter. Okay, we are done. Now we have to type W to save this change. Press enter. Okay, done. 
now let me run ft cipher l again now you can see sdb1 slash def slash dev sdb1 one partition i am created okay its size is 2.1 gb so at this point if you run uh, df hyphen h so that device is not showing here so we need to mount this device to some path then only we can use it so for that i am going to create a new directory sudo mkdir slash media uh, my disk something you want to can give any name okay so i have created a directory then i am going to mount uh, this slash dev slash uh, sdb1 to slash media my disk you can see i am getting error because i haven't formatted it we can format it using sudo mkfs dot ext4 i am using then slash dev slash sdb1 okay done now let me mount it again okay it's working then go to slash okay before going to that path let me run df and h again now you can see the last line check the last line you can see slash dev is db1 there is 2 gb so now we have successfully added new storage to this vm and we mounted that newly added storage to some path now you can go to this slash media and my disk in this path so here you can create new file so that new file will be added to the newly added storage so this way we can add new storage to the virtual box vm please subscribe my channel please like and share the video